Yeah, I've got six years, do three. But the person who's uploaded that video, I can assure you, has never, ever, ever even fought a rugby player. Or let alone gone out and fought an official bare knuckle fighter. But what I'm saying is, rather than making mockeries of them videos, I was his ally. I was back to back with him. So I've ended up landing in here, and I've seen a guy that I've not known for a while, man. I've seen him in here. I need to see you out with, with Dougie and blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. How's things with me? He said, he's, he's got there saying that he always, he said he always me and grand. Apparently, apparently Dougie took a Rolex off this kid every time he's ringing him, he won't turn up with the money and he'd always make grand and leave it weeks and weeks and weeks and turn up with a grand and ignore the phone and, and every time he'd see this guy's car in town, he'd leave, he'd try to spin off fast so the guy could catch up with him. To be fair, I reached out to Dougie before I went to jail about the Douglas fight and he messaged me back saying, nice one. And then he had, I had him his call off him two days before I was in court and I answered that, so I phoned him back, had a call catcher, I rang him back, he was on his way to London to that film premiere with Terry Stone and not the rise and fall of the foot soldier. So he said to me, he said, Dean, I said, what are you doing? So we're all for the pint. And he said, he invited me to go down to watch his film premiere of him, but I didn't end up going. Now, what he needs to be doing is instead of making that video to try and, I don't know what kind of stunt he's pulling there, what he needs to do really is go and rectify the issue with Douglas, because all I'm seeing is YouTube videos.